Yes! Okay, hello YouTube, my name is SideTraffic7 and we are here with Akemi Tan. Now you probably don't know what's going on here, but... Well, in this part, I had to... Well, pretty much what happens is... You know what, maybe I'll show you a video clip later or something like that if I go back and try to redo this. Just to show you how impossible this part was, but... I got it done with. I got this part done with. I can c continue with the game. I can continue. You don't know how excited I was to find out that I could keep playing the game. Oh my god. Okay, um... Let's keep going. So... Pretty much what happened in the game was that you went in here, this guy came out of the closet, and he was like one of those yellow guys. And then when you went down there, you had to interact with that red guy, walk a few steps back, and then five of them would spawn. Five of those yellow guys would spawn, and they would chase you around the library. And you ha what you have to do is, you know how I had five oil? I'd have to walk up to the red guy, go into my inventory, click oil, wait for the animation to go, and as I was happening, the guys were still moving, and I had to avoid them, because if they touched me, it was game over. So I had to pretty much run around the library, walk up to the guy, go into my inventory, click oil, use it, go back around, and do that five times, and then use a lighter, and I managed to do it! Oh my god! <sighs> Hi. Hi? Oh. Hi. That's kinky. Um. What about this? Um. Hi. Bye? Um. Hello? What? Okay. Um, again? Till when can I stop wandering? I forgot there were grammar errors. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Okay. That's creepy. There's a possibility I might be able to actually finish this game. One of the few games in my life I've actually been able to complete. Let's go in here. The hell? Don't haven't I seen you before? Yeah, I have. I think I have. Oh, um. What? Eh? Here is. You are. Um. What? Is she like putting things back to normal or something? Here is the road near our village. Finally, I am out. No, you're not, Takako. Takako, I can tell you, you are many things, but you are not out. Honey, we ain't out of no forest yet. Why? There should be the exit of the village. The ominous feeling is so strong. I better not go any further. I'm not going to go any further, you silly goose. I, I'm going to die if I go further, I know that. I might be an idiot, but I'm not that much of an idiot. See, do I use my hammer? No. That would be pretty stupid, actually. Let me guess. I'm not going back in there or something? Nope. Alright, all right, then. So I'm guessing I can't leave. I'm just supposed to... What? What am I supposed to be doing? Am I supposed to leave? Okay, let's check. Maybe this sign says something? Unless you are chosen, you are forbidden to enter this place. This is a place of the O. Then it means king, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Actually, I'm, I'm actually pretty sure it's not. You're not allowed to take away any offering. Guess what? I already ate the limes. 
Alright then, so should I leave? Is that what I have to do? Is that what I have to do? Mm. On. Um. This isn't the sound that exits are supposed to make. Oh. Um. That's also not supposed to happen. That's very much not supposed to happen. That's a bad. Yep, yeah, that is a bad. That is definitely a bad. I see a lot of bads in my days. That is a bad. Oh, I... I was that... Oh. What do you want me to do then, if not that? It seems like a place. Can I go here? Can I perhaps go this way? I mean, I can't. Wait. Oh, I can? What? Why is it not necessary to go this way now? It's the only other way to go! Alright then. Is that the end of the game? Is that it? I mean, I'm stuck in purgatory here. I thought that I was this. Don't, don't do that, computer. So actually, I might as well just show you something. <clears throat> this is the situation I was in before. I don't think I could show you the jump scare that happened in here, but once you walked into the closet, you see this guy. It's probably the same jump scare you saw before, actually, and then you just came out, but... Wait, actually, can I do that now? I can do that now. Awesome. Yeah, I just showed that. A big doll. And you start leaving, and then he comes out, and you just leave. And that's the end of it. Nothing else happens. It's the end of that. Never talk about him again. And this is the worst part. This part right here. <laughs> Listen to that bastard's laugh. That laugh haunted my nightmares. <laughs> yep, this is what happens. You have to run away from these guys. Walk up to this guy, click oil, wait for the animation to end, move maneuver them around this way. Actually, I've gotten better at this because I've finished it. I've actually had some time to practice. I've had a lot of time to- See? They corner you! They do that five times! Five times! I mean, seriously! Seriously, man, that's just awful! It's evil! It's evil Knievel! I don't know what's going on! Am I supposed to exit the village? I mean, it would make sense if I went this way, because this is the only way that seems to be open. The other way is blocked by some ominous thing. Maybe Okay, maybe I'm supposed to, um... Damn it. Damn it, Bobby. Bobby. Damn it. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to say no and then go that way? Stay. Okay, maybe that opens some sort of switch that allows me to go this way. Because I'll be like, oh, there's no other way to go. Oh, I can! Okay, that makes sense. I'm not saying that sarcastically, that actually makes sense. Qu exclamation mark, question mark. I heard that's called an entero bang. Anything there? No? Can I move now? Ah. Ah. You see, people, that's a thing. Let's stay, because we're not doing that again. But seriously, I gotta say, a lot of people don't like this game, but I mean, it's it's pretty cool in some ways. You know, it's it's got it's got some effort put into it. Hey, what's this thing? A memo sheet. Please be aware of the monsters in the forest. If you meet them, use light. Oh, that's actually pretty helpful. Okay, Takako, let's go. Let's go, Takako. Was it? Takoko. Yeah, it was Takoko. Ain't in there? Aw, oh, yeah. Get back! Get back, you little spookies! Awesome.
What's this? It's locked. You're locked, dick. Oh, hey! Get back here! Get back here! Get back here! Stay over there! Stay over there! Oh, no, 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 don't. No! Yep. Was that really necessary? <laughs> I think that should be an action button, not a player touch thing. Player touch it. Oh. Player essentially rub it. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I don't go that way. There's only one way to go then, and that's towards the creepy lady. Show yourself, monsters! And they show themselves. Yep, that's showing themselves. That is certain. Hey! Thank you. It's <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm gonna go now. Alright then. Walk towards the creepy lady. That's the same thing to do. What's this? Oh, and I can go back to the, to the house. Alright then. Wonder what's in there. Probably something to get me past that one place. Because then there's only uh, one other path to go, really. It's opened. Oh, well, okay then. What? <laughs> oh, thank goodness I have this box. We may need to go past that one. Um, there's like an edge area or something. We're so edgy. That's what I call the edge area. Oh god. No. No. Oh. But. Oh no. Oh, thank god. That's actually very helpful. Thank you. Thank you, Game Maker, for realizing that I would fuck this up royally. Wait, will I just fuck this up again? Actually, I think I will. Wait, what? I didn't do that. <clears throat> you see, at around this point, I should be telling you, I wasn't supposed to be pushing the box this way. I... I wasn't. But, as you can see, I tried. I tried so hard, and got so far. But in the end... Yeah, let's not do that reference. So, I kept doing this for a long time, said... Few times I was game over. Few times that these tree stumps were the ultimate evil in this game, and that the O oh, pretty much looked like nothing compared to them. And, well, I think a few swear words were in there too, but let's not repeat those. And, as you can see, me running on like a complete idiot, kind of push these things around. And, don't, don't, he'll get it eventually. It'll, past me will get it eventually and realize I'm not supposed to push it that way. Because that happens. Yep, that's how I realize it. Doesn't let me do it. I'm like, oh, wait a second. And then I push it back. Get it all the way over here. Now I actually start to make some progress. And then I realize I'm supposed to get the rope. But I don't realize the angle I'm supposed to use. I'm actually supposed to get in front of the rope, which actually is a sensical thing to do. But like an idiot, like an idiot I don't know. So I'm just kind of like, do I go this way? When I know there's nothing down that way that I would use a box for. That's not going to help you at this moment past me. But don't worry. I got it eventually. Actually, I figured it out. Right about... How you do this. Maybe I... Oh! Okay, well, what do I do with a rope? Why do I need a rope? What, why do I have a rope now? Let's go with our rope. What do you do with the rope? Okay, probably that thing that I thought was a was a, a depression was actually an incline, and then I need to use it to scale that area, or perhaps get down from it. It's it's some sort of 
area or something, and now you gotta use the rope. Yep. I'm a. Oh, actually, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, okay. I thought I was doing that. It says Ibiko's cell phone. Is Ibiko around as well? I was wondering what happened to her. Eh, what was that? Eh. No, no. That's actually genuinely creepy. I'm pretty sure it'll stop being creepy after a while when she kills me the first few times. Cause she will. She will kill me. She will kill me so many times. Will she actually? Is this just a cutscene? It's not gonna help if I keep escaping before I get killed. I must do something. Oh. Go to hell! Go to hell! Go to hell, go to hell, go to hell! Damn. That was more interesting than frustrating. I didn't die. Ha. <sighs> I. I did it. She died. Already? Oh, perhaps I'm just going completely and utterly insane. If it turns out that was a Biko. A Biko. I mean, she was the only other person in the house. Oh, I can I can move around freely now. Yeah. Go away, go away, no, ugu, ugu, go, 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 can't, can't. T -t -t breathe, help. Ugh. Gotta say, I actually said this before, but I like the art in this game. It is genuinely creepy. Exclamation points! <sighs> what? Exclamation points! Ah, ka, me? Why did you leave me? Er, please don't leave me. Phone, shut up! I want to save you. Ah, Kimmy. Why are you here? Why are you here? I'm here to release her from the curse. You want to disturb me? Ouch. N no. Don't. Dot. Leave her body, please. Oh my god! So that's what happened! Oh my god! Ebiko, what happened? She was controlled by the evil, just like her mother. Ebiko! Ebiko! Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ebiko! Shimiko! I... What happened to me? Ebiko, are you feeling alright now? Ah! Uh, I remember! Monster! Monster! Ebiko! Happy reunion! Wait, you know, I gotta say. Papa Issei has some explaining to do because, um. Her daughter has green hair. Wait, maybe, actually, wait, now that I think about it, I was about to say, like, her daughter has green hair. They don't have green hair, but then I realized they, they probably just dyed their hair. They're probably like, hey, you know what's really cool? Hair color talk. Or, I'm just. I'm, I'm calling her Takako. Takako? What, Issa? Let's. Dye our hair green, and they're like, "Yeah, M mom, dad, you're still alive. Thank God, um." Why is this touching my heartstrings? Is it just because I'm so happy to be coming back to this game and finishing it? This is not my dream, but why are there so many monsters? 
I also don't know. But I'm glad that everyone is fine. Thank you, Akemi. And... I'm sorry. I suspected you... So please, never leave me again. It's for your own good, too. Oh, my friend is playing a video game. Thank you, Steam. It's good for your own... It's good. You better get back to the village as soon as possible. Hey. Hey. I was wondering when he'd become a character. Yuda, is everyone okay? Yeah, I guess so. Glad to hear that. Wait, why didn't you show her face there? Why didn't you show her face there? Yuda, do you know what on earth is going on in our village? Now everyone is talking about this too. We're all taking refuge in the lodging house. Your parents are there also. Really? Yes. And they are so worried about you. You better get, We better go there as soon as possible. All villagers are there? No. Quite a number of them were killed. A lot of weird things happened. And there are still monsters around the village. Is the lodging house safe? It should be. Nothing has happened there so far. Why doesn't it show her face? Oh, wait, is it because the parents never had faces? I mean, they never like, just got character designs or something? That makes sense. Let's go there now! Because I was just, I'm still actually pretty suspicious of that. Glad we arrived here safely. Let's meet, let's meet others. Oh, is so the game still going? Room is on the second floor, next to the banquet hall. Um... I'm guessing that's a banquet hall. Shimako! Mom! Dad! So scary! Thank God, thank God! Um, um. So glad for you, Shimaka. Alright, Kami, let's go. This room is irrelevant. This room is irrelevant. <laughs> Oh. oh, everything's so happy. Can we survive? Here is not completely safe as well. Be careful, please. Oh, so this is, um... I want to go toilet, but where is it? Oh, I want to go toilet. Oh. It's not safe now, is it? <laughs> Certainly isn't safe, but please, why are you wearing full body armor? So glad that my family is safe. Oh, I love them so much! This room is irrelevant. This room is irrelevant. Hey, policeman, I I will protect this village. I'm pretty sure you are the protagonist. And if this was like an action, it's like a second part of the show where it's an action version. He is the main protagonist. It's like, I would have protected this village. Yeah, he's that, he has that dumb and strange to be an accent. I'm going to hell. I think I should have monsters chasing me and trying to kill me for just that. I mean, it's much worse than stealing limes. All of this happened, Takako, because you stole a lime. You stole a lime and this happened. How do you feel? Hey look, bathroom! <laughs> okay. Don't. Don't play a sound effect. No! God damn it! No! I didn't want to hear that. I really didn't. Eh? Power cut? What can I do? I can't see anything. Question mark exclamation point? What? Who is that? Oh dear. Power back. Good. The horrors aren't over yet. They're just getting started. The meeting is going to start soon. I don't... Oh, so everyone's still alive? Really? Y you sure about that? Y you sure everyone's not dead? Um, because I was, 
I was, um, I was pretty sure that everyone's gonna die. Let's go back to our room. How's the cat doing? Hey there. Oh, I actually was supposed to go here. I'm back. Everything okay? But who is a Kemi? Is she some sort of goddess and she's just kind of hanging out with us now? Like, yeah, I'm just kind of the goddess of this village. I'm just chillaxing with you now. You guys are cool. Is everything okay? Yep, nothing strange. Um, where is a Kemi living? I never saw you before in the village. I'm not living in this village. Eh? Really? What do you mean? Why, why did you come here? I mean, there's something much here. It's because I want to save you and the village from the curse. What do you mean by that? Is there any revel relation between Akemi and the village? I lived here in the past. I had a special power, which protected people from the evil spirits. So I used this power to protect the village. But then I was chased out by villagers, since they wanted to take control of the village. I never heard of that before. But you look like us, the same. A you look like the same age as us. Why do we remember nothing about you? But I know everything about you. Although you've forgotten me. What do you mean? Huh? You to here. Can you all come with me? We're going to have a meeting with all the villagers here. Though, I still have something to tell you. Let's go for the meeting first. <laughs> Look at that little cheery person in the background. Wait. Wait a second. Just, just, just hold on a second here. That's a fucking panda. That is a fucking panda. Why the fuck? Why the actual fuck is there a panda? Is they are they just some like intense furry or something like that, where they're just like, oh, I gotta come in my fur suit. Let's start discussing about what we should do next week. As you know, the village is in disaster now. The whole village is surrounded by the darkness, and it's impossible to get out. It seems that this village has been isolated from the rest of the world. If the current situation continues, this village will be destroyed. And for that cause, for the cause of the current situation... Another phone! God damn it! This is why people don't have landlines! It must be because of Ooh, rage. It must be someone who. Phone, shut the fuck up! Oh, well, you actually probably can't hear it, but what? It must be someone that irritated the. Ooh. Someone must have eaten the offering. Oh, that was the same person. That was. I just thought it was a little girl because she's the only person. Wait, maybe she's the only person moving because she is the village chief. She just is humble and didn't want to be in the center of attention. In order to obey his rage, we have to catch the culprit and offer him or her to the O as a sacrifice. Other than that, we can't be rescued. But that means we have to kill someone. What? So you have any other better suggestions? Situation continues. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a little girl. If the situation continues, everyone will die. Isn't it better to kill one but save the rest? Ain't I right? Ain't I right? Um... It's the only problem of the time for the monster to find this place. We can't afford more time to think about another method. So let's share what we know and find out the culprit now. Ebiko? Are you okay? You look terrible. Oh, she, she, she fell. Ebiko, uh, don't you die on me again. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Ebiko is having a rest now. Why did her, f why did she faint suddenly? After going through all those things, she must be exhausted. That's why. Is that the only reason? Eh? She was so fine just now. All right then, go see if I can end this episode right here, and let's just nearly dial around. Save, Ray, Sa save. All right, so I'm going to end this episode right here. I'm back in a Kemi Todd. Yes, 
This, you don't know how excited I was. I was jumping around my room, dancing, singing. I was so happy. I'm still very happy because I like this. This game is like, really, I like this game. I really do. It has a lot of charm to it. And actually, I remember complaining about the translation before, but comparing the translation of this game to the translation of um, Last Prom, this game is actually pretty good. And also, they did so they did a lot of art in the game. They just put a lot of effort in the game. It's a lot longer than I thought it was. And I just overall think it's a pretty fun game. So, I mean, I played for 20 minutes, not even realizing it. So, you can tell I like this game. And I'm really excited to be back and playing it. So, I'm going so to get to answer those right here. And remember, no trolls and no. Uh, uh. So, you know the drill. Peace out. Bye.